Yeah, this gon' be the song of the summer Me and my niggas slowly on the come up All the ladies wanna love us Baby, grab a cup and get to sippin' This is celebration, how I'm livin' Ain't no way you finna miss it What's up, guys? Welcome back to the Malays Come Up Podcast Got your very special guest right here Very owner, founder, creator CEO. The one and only Enterprise entrepreneur At Caesar 11 underscore 21, I believe My man, my primo, all of the above Let's What's get it rolling. So, talk to me, dog. What inspired you to start your company? Or what was it? Take it all the way back. Take it all yeah. the way back. Um, my brother and his homies used to have this brand called BTL. And in high school, I used to help them sell all the shirts. Well, what's BTL? Bigger than life. Nah, Bigger it's Big life. Titty Life, homie. <laughs> One of the two. But, um, <laughs> Whatever you want it to be. Right? However you want to call it. I used to help them. For one reason or another, it never worked out. So... When they stopped it, I kind of wanted to keep going, but obviously I couldn't take over their shit, so um, I had to start my own company. And how old were you at the time? I was like, I want to say, a, when I was helping them, I was probably like a freshman. God damn, so like 14, 15? Yeah, it's been, shit. It's been a while. And how was like that? How, how was that like? Was it like something you were always interested in? Or was it just something like they told you like, hey man, we got this going on. We I could think, use your help. I think I just got thrown in there and I figured it out on my own. And it just so happened that along the way I just fell in love with it, you know? Was it one of those things where your brother's like got his thing going? He's just like, hey, fuck yourself some shirts for me. I had fun, bro. Yeah. I think more than anything at the time, I loved having money. Uh, like, you know, like um, yeah. coming from coming from our background like you know like it's not like you come around like that kind of money when you're that old you know and well yeah Doug when you're in high school there's there's nothing better than having money like any type of money or a car that's or a car yeah yeah I think that's why I like this so much though because um, I've always been a hustler like I've always tried to make money I, I used to sell candy at school Hell yeah, those were the days. I Remember that shit? Elementary, I used to have a lemonade stand at the corner of right here on Mountain <laughs> in Lewiston. Selling cookies and shit, too. Um, I think I've always had it in me, you know, to be a businessman. But I didn't want to be, like, a businessman for somebody else. I wanted to be a businessman for myself. Yeah, that's the ideal plan. You want to work for yourself, right? Yeah. I think everybody starts off with that idea, but you get lost in the sauce, you know? like you Yeah. Get, you get caught up making money and you never figure it out. And next thing you know, you're fucking 60, 70, and you're still working for the company that you were supposed to just start off with. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because Talk- pension, all kinds of crazy shit along the way, you know? Yeah. Talking about um, Lost in Sauce, um, did you have any, like, favorite brands growing up? Yeah, bro. I, I think my perspective changed, but when I was younger, like, I like I like Jordans. I like... I like the shit that, er- that all the rich kids had, like Jordans. Yeah. Um, so did, you ever have, did you ever have Jordans? Nah, hell no. Ah! Like, what were you rocking? What, the were you rocking? what was you rocking? Nah, I had Shaq. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> hey, Shaq. It's prime. Fire. I had Shaq. I had some Shaq. Too. Those Bro. Jordans where he's like doing the dunk, but his like legs are off and shit, the fake ones. <laughs> yeah. if, if, if it was at Payless, I had it. So like Zoo York. Air Walks. Airwalks. Airwalks. Echo. Echo. Oh, yeah. Did you ever rock DC? Uh, Circa. Oh, yeah. DC. Circa. Dog. Circa. <laughs> that was my shoe growing up, I swear. I to couldn't God. fuck with the DC. I didn't like the big ass yeah, logo on the front. Fine, I, thought that was, I thought that was yeah. saucy at the time. I didn't even mind like how <laughs> big like they were. Scared. I just like, fuck that. I'm not rocking something like, like shit. I'm like, fuck that. Kind of back to, to like to your close. start. Yeah, well, to the close, but more more about Caesar too, because he started this whole thing, and you wanted you talked about how you wanted to be a businessman, right? And I think one of the things that separated you and kind of got you going strong is like you take care of your people, you know what I mean? And that that's what's that that's a big separation between a lot of people trying to start businesses is you got to take care of your people, you know what I mean? Like Before you, actually, you take care of yourself, you got to give a fuck about it. Yeah. I think I learned that shit from my mom though, like you know, like my yeah. mom's always helping out people and shit and. I just picked it up. At the beginning, it wasn't like that, though. At the beginning, when I first started, I liked the money so much. It was all about the money. Like, I just wanted to have money. Like, like I said, like, coming from not having anything, like, not that I didn't have, like, I was broke, broke. But, yeah, we were broke. Like, you know. Like, oh, yeah, I remember that. It, it was you like. Had- 
<laughs> but like, listen. Yeah, cable, shut up. Bro, we stole the cable from the neighbor. Fucking <laughs> okay, beat up I the cable guy. No, I had a guy. We paid a guy. 50, hey, man. We paid a guy 50 bucks to steal the neighbor's cable, and we always had cable. But, bro, like. Did they ever find out? Like, bro, like, my, 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 no. step, my, my, my stepdad's a gardener. My mom's a um, king's house is for a living. And my grandma, same thing. So it's like, it's not that I'm ashamed of it. Like we live day by day. Like no, personally, I think that's better because like you you get to see what hard work really is, and a lot of kids like growing up right now, like they don't see that shit. Yeah. But like, I they don't know what hard work is. Down. Yeah. But that's why like the shirt that we just made. It's a shirt that I've been trying to do for like a really long time. The one I'm wearing right now. Yeah, like support your local hustle means like it's not just the people that like already have a business. It's for the people that like like my stepdad. It's for like people like my stepdad, you know, that wake up every single day to a hustle to provide for his family. Like, that's a fucking hustle. Like, you're not thinking about going to go buy new clothes. You're not thinking about that. You're thinking about providing for your kids and your family. And I'm pretty sure you, your pops could say the same thing or your pops, you know, like yeah. <laughs> your mom, for that matter. Like, they tell about my mama, though. They're hustling. <laughs> I knew it, huh? I knew, there was gonna be one, I knew there was going to be one punch on the podcast. <laughs> uh, I knew someone was getting socked. He was getting... He, hate that shit. Well, he's so violent. <laughs> yeah, but... That's a fucking... Hey, bro, your daughter punches harder than that. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Oh, oh, start yeah. something Get him, Stanley. Bring up the whole family nah. now. Nah, actually, uh, speaking on family, I, um, like, I, I, I knew you in, in, in high school. It's so, like, you know, I knew when you were kind of, like, rocking that stuff. Um, like I seen you one time, you were like selling shirts out of your at your backpack, bro, and you come so far. That's but yeah, it's a. It, I mean, you look at it right, and it's like you feel like you came this way, but like in my own head, there's still times where I feel like I'm still selling out my backpack. Like, like you get what I'm saying? Like, yeah. You yeah. feel like you've come all this way. And you feel like you made those strides, but there are those times where you feel like, damn, like, how the fuck has it been 10 years and you're still here, you know? So I feel like that kind of, like, this year kind of, like, fucking slapped me in the face where I was like, I can't do this shit no more. Like, I need to either make it work or I need to make it work. Like, I need to make it work. So that's why I recently quit my job and I'm just hustling it out and... I can't say it's like easy because I'm going crazy sometimes. Like there are, I, I got a wife. I got two girls now. Like, like I got bills to pay. Yeah. So it's more of like I can't fuck around and not pay my bills. You know what I'm saying? It's not like I could be partying all the time and not pay my bills. It's not like I really got to take this shit serious in order for it to work. I think that's why it's so important that the podcast works the way I intended to you know what I'm saying like when I first originated this podcast was to like coexist with Malays yeah. but it just became like its own entity by bringing in other people like you guys that are like very like minded individuals and you guys got your own individual hustles but at the same time we all want the same thing and that's to get the fuck out of where we're at right now you know or be somebody in life and I feel like we could most definitely do it and you know what I think kind of like From the outside perspective As like A supporter A friend This is kind of The Caesar we've all Been wanting to see Is like yeah. Fucking just all in yeah. And I and I knew And I know What you're capable of Balls and, But I know you have in. Fucking a million things You're doing You're working at a Fucking <laughs> restaurant You're cutting hair Fucking What Malaise But like The one I, The Caesar The version of you That I've been waiting for Dog is just a full dive in because I know what you're capable of you know what you can do or I think we're going to see some sick ass fucking product yeah. coming out yeah and some I mean sick shit coming out yeah. I mean I don't know we're allowed to talk about it but the drop we got for the podcast PDC that's it's coming up that's stay fire. tuned yeah. stay tuned we, we can talk about it yeah, I, I think, yeah, we can. I think yeah, they're, they're ready if, they're if ready. there's anywhere to talk about yeah, it I think ready. the podcast is where we talk about it right I think that was not maybe not get into detail but that was intended to be for Malays. Yeah. Um, we hijacked but it. But <laughs> it kind of worked out, though, because... Struck a deal. The uh. person that introduced me to, like, Nelk and fucking Barstool Sports is this guy. 
and I started fucking the alcoholic drinker, and food. fucking animal. <laughs> <laughs> and I got Party animal. Like ask Alexis, like I started watching every fucking podcast. You know what? Th- it's I got good, it though. Like I, I yeah. ever since I literally was getting a fucking haircut right here, yeah. and I was watching that shit, and I was like, dude, this is like I like this shit. Like this is like entertaining. The setup is right. Yeah. It's so right. Not saying that I want to copy that. Like I yeah. like I like the vision. Everyone else have their own style. But the potential yeah. that we have, it's way different. Mm-hmm. Like not to say they're privileged, but they are. You know, like we have a different background. Our fun. It's different kind of fun. Yeah, it's more on the illegal side, but... <laughs> oh, <laughs> nah, they did some, yeah, they did some yeah, illegal they shit, did some illegal shit, too. They got oh, yeah, a couple yeah, times don't, on don't, camera, don't, right? <laughs> but, I like, that's just cool to us. That's what people like. Yeah, but our our type of fucked up, like, these fools got the money to go buy, like, expensive bottles. Oh, dude, yeah, no, we used to get fucked up, drink oh. 40s and four locos Bro, at the park. Bonfires, bonfires <laughs> dude, in the house. Let's go back for a second. So, we were in high school... Literally, we obviously had no fucking money. We used to, me and Caesar would meet up Saturday morning. We're like, cool, dude, it's our weekend. We'd go around his house, get all the fucking cans. We'd go to my house, get all the fucking cans. And our and your old Honda Civic, it was like a 97 Honda Civic. So we would load up the back of that Honda Civic with that empty trap. cans. We trap. would spend our morning at the recycling center just so we can have a sick-ass bonfire and invite people over and just hang out. Dude, we were drinking Pabst Blue Ribbon. Oh, <laughs> yeah, PBRs. Yeah. No, 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 we used to drink that cheap-ass vodka, the flavored one. The oh, U- the pop-pop. UV. 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 Dude, the, the blue one, I still remember what it tastes like to throw that shit up. And the E&J. <laughs> E&J, the E&J, brand E&J, E&J by myself. Oh, no. I mean, when you, that's all you can afford. Hey, that's, that's the good. cheap Henny. That, Were you that, getting violent no, back no, then, too? That's how I knew I can't drink dark liquor. But that's our come up right there, dog. Like, that's where we fucking started, drinking I'll, UV, I would try cashing to fight. in cans. I would try to fight Ethan, because Ethan would always throw up at some point throughout the night. <laughs> and I'll be like, what the fuck, you dumb man? I was like, what the? Dude, he's, he's a funny guy. Yeah, man. he's a cool guy. <laughs> Hot oh, mom, fucking hot oh, mom. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> uh, <laughs> don't talk about his mom like that. She's a nice lady. She's a nice lady. But, um. But going back to it, man, yeah. Yeah, go ahead. Actually, uh, let me ask you a question. Um, you know, whenever you saw, like, a business, obviously there's, like, major struggles. Is there, like, a super struggle that you, you know, don't even want to talk about, shed light on? Because most businesses, when they do start, you know, there's dark times. And with the podcast, right? We're talking about true entrepreneurial stories. And you know the truth sometimes is a little dark sometimes. Ooh, is that the podcast crew? You want to come join? It? Yeah, you want to hop in? Uh, come come here, come here, Mila. Go, Mila. We got a special Let's guest. Go. Special guest. Special, special guest. guest. Uh, so real quick, dog. You remember when we first came up with the name? You remember that day? Yeah, bro. I went. I, I have tried to start three different brands beforehand, and it never worked out. And then. I tried to do my own thing, and I remember we had like a dictionary. And Dude, we, were just flipping. we were literally just sitting on the fucking his front porch after. Did you guys get it the was dictionary? literally after one of those my bonfire back. nights so we were talking. Stuff on the library. Yeah. <laughs> it was literally after one of those bonfire nights we were talking about. Oh shit! Yeah, we're, we're just sitting on the porch. No, 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 hungover, hungover. We're just sitting there holding our heads, but like, we want this shit to work. It's something like. It's not something he thought of overnight, you know. It's something that Caesar was talking about for a long time, bro. He's he's always wanted to do the hustle, but like we're just sitting there, we're fucking going through our phones, like, hey, bro, what about this name? He's like, no, that's fucking stupid. I'm like, what about this? And we're just kind of going through. We found this shit on Google, and we and we were just looking at definitions because like we found some cool names and we're like, what does it mean though? And like we're like, nah, we can't use that shit. Like, do you remember any of the ones we picked originally? Nah, bro. I, we have some fucked up names. Some stupid shit. Uh, so it was just you two in the beginning? It was always you two in the beginning or what? Nah, so... Because I understand you had someone else. I don't know if you want to talk about that, but I understand you had someone else that so was with you. It was it was me, and Craig was helping me because me and Craig were, like, close back then, so... Craig like, was, my buddies or no? Oh, nah. Yeah, we fucked a few times. Uh, okay. <laughs> nah. Dude, uh, yeah, bitch! Nah, I was big spoon, though, but... Ah! Oh, boy, Jeff. <laughs> Most deaf. Wow. That's sort of my man. Thank you. He but, paid for my dinners. <laughs> As he should. Bro, you used to help me recycle. We paid for <laughs> But, um, yeah, I always wanted it to have meaning. So, malaise means discomfort. So, it means, like, being uncomfortable with with what you're doing. 
mm-hmm. and trying to get to that place where you want to be at in life you know like you go through all this discomfort throughout your journey to reach that one place where you want to be at and it's a lotus because the lotus represents like peace and like you know like um, I think like in Japanese culture it means peace, tranquility, like And it actually like if you look it up it aligns with mm-hmm. the word Malays. Yeah, so I kinda I kinda like we thought it out and then Javier, um, I used to work at a restaurant with him and I told him to hop in and, and he did and we were making it happen but um shout out Javier. Um he got into an accident. What's that for? And you know, shit happened and you know, I I couldn't put my dream on hold you know um not to say that i just took off without him like we we talked about it and you know like he's doing better but he's still like getting back to it i did tell him though when he comes back there's always a door open for him you know he's a good dude man yeah. like uh yeah. he, he reached a trip he's talking Oh yeah, yeah. That's my man. That's yeah. My man. Sick. Yeah, I was in high school. This was cool. So and he was cool enough to actually like uh, reach out to me, and uh, you know I I, I appreciate that because like you know I, I talked to him once, kind of around that time when it all happened. But I know you know obviously there's there's a long time when you need to figure your stuff out. And when he reached out to me, I was like, you know what, dude, that's fucking cool. That you know he's going back and hitting he, people back. He's up. getting better. I mean, I can't I say. Didn't get a text. Whoa. I'm just kidding. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. But, um, <laughs> but yeah, he's a cool guy, bro. But it's okay, I'm not memorable. It's fine. I had to work on. Yeah, you're not. You're not. <laughs> you're not. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, he I'm fu- just fucking, I'm fucking, I'm he fucking you're passes out like two hours yeah. into drinking, so nobody yeah, remembers this moment. We're gonna get some good bro. PDC content I'm off it. <laughs> Y'all not ready for that. <laughs> But yeah, after I'm that, I'm good. <laughs> we got the name together and we got the, the logo together. And me and Hobby, that was the first shirt we ever made. Um, I bring did. it out, bring it out. Let's talk about the first shirt. Yeah. Hey. I, I f- in fucking mint. This edition, is the too. very first Malays release ever. Pro Club Heavyweight. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, sick. I, my favorite. Oh, yeah. Hey, <laughs> Bobby. What does it say? Malay Supply Co. Pushing our own weight. Pushing way. our own weight. 2015. And we still are, huh? Man. Mm. I'm going to throw it down. Ain't nobody fucking. signed the fucking check but us. Oof. Yeah, and that's when we first started. And then, um, you know what's kind of cool about that, though? is like, I just feel like when we came across that name, it just aligned so perfectly with where you're coming from. Yeah. So so I got a question. Did you guys, like, shake dicks when you found it? You're like, this is it. This is the one. I dapped him yeah. up and kissed him after, bro. Sword fighting shit. <laughs> this was on something, food. You I might know. Why are you asking all these questions? Yeah. Dude, you got, why, you, why y'all being embarrassed? Y'all good? I'm you you want to ask him something? Man, yeah. I just did. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Like you said he, you guys kissed. Yeah. So have you always been in the closet? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Pablo, you can talk to us. We're your friends. Oh, dude. my God. If this is a front, <laughs> it's all good. <laughs> We're friends with Pre, too. I mean, she can tell us. Shout out my baby. But, um... Yeah, we figured it out, and then um, I came across Joel, which is my designer now. And, and he's still your designer to this day? Yeah. So your guys' relationship has just always been like... He's not just my designer. He's, he's your like, guy. He's like, he's my friend. Yeah. Like, I have conversations with him that I, I could have with very little people just because he's the type of person that I talk a certain way and I act a certain way, but he like... He understands, like, you know, like, he sees through the bullshit. Like, he knows what's up. Like, he's direct, he's open-minded, and, yeah, that's my boy. And he understands your, your vision. Yeah, and he knows how hard I work for this. Fucking, he knows that it's at a point where, like, it's just barely taking off. So, he's worked for, like, big companies. Like, he's made money. But when it comes to me, he like he still takes care of you. Huh? Prioritizes yeah. me, prioritizes the brand. He understands where I'm at and what I'm trying to do. And I, there is no malaise without Joel. So would you say like, what was I on this? Would you say that he's like a big part of your success? Yeah, hell yeah. Like, like where <laughs> you were like five years ago, ten years ago. I mean, I, I've had different. Five years ago. I've had different designers, yeah. but. Like Joel, no. His attention to detail, his the type of person he is, bro. Like, 
just that whole family that they're the Bodina family yeah they're so you guys go way back whole like family. high school or what that whole family they're all they all like they're visionaries like like his brother Hector he shoots videos bro like if you guys ever get the chance it's at at Codina so at 6 O-D-I-N-A you heard that here inspiration bro like watch watch one of his videos oh watch the Camp Malay soul video alright yeah, he did uh, that one he did that one yeah bro fucking uh, it uh, fire so jumping into like where do you where do you where do you see it going bro where, where are you trying to go with Malay's next like what's it's the vision yeah, the picture you got some cool shit like are you are you gonna stick to sh- sh- strictly shirts and like hats nah it's called supply company for a reason I like that um, supply rubbers and I know you've too. made like some sweats uh, you I'm made gonna, socks for yourself one time I didn't get any fucking I'm socks a, by the way I'm gonna get I'm gonna I'm get this shit on lock, but I want to establish a name. Like, I don't print shirts with shit that's already popping. All right. Like, like I, I ain't trying to call out any brands, but I'm not making like um, t-shirts about stars or t-shirts about people that are already famous. Shirts that are like, oh, that's that guy. I'm gonna buy this shirt. Nah, like, they're like, what the fuck is Malays? Like. What is Malays? Um, Man, it's the next fucking we multi-million already asked dollar company. <laughs> we, are, we already talked about this. Um, discomfort, bro. Discomfort. discomfort towards the normal, right? Like, so yeah. discomfort, like, you're not comfortable in a normal setting, living a normal fucking life. It's about people who want to fucking hustle. You know what the crazy part is? <laughs> right? It has so many definitions. Like, the name on its own, like, it just has too many definitions. But well, what is it to you as the owner? Yeah. It's all the shit I'm going through right now to get to where I want to be at. All the bullshit, all the good times, so all the bad times. So if I look time, it up, everything. it says bullshit. And all that. No, like, <laughs> like going through your discomfort, like. <laughs> no, yeah. Like, nah, it's gonna show his picture. But, <laughs> but um, you know what's kind of cool? Uh, this is a fucking side note, but I was listening to a Travis Scott song. He actually says Malays in one of his songs. Yeah. Yeah. PC my shit. Run it up. Hey. He said he says the word Malays in one of the songs. I can pull that shit up later, but I'm out to charge shoot. him for it. I'm out to <laughs> shoot this motherfucker. Yeah, yeah. But Travis Scott, you're going down, bro. <laughs> Back to your question. Look up Born and Raised. Look up Stussy. The hundreds. The hundreds yeah, up in Tillys. This is how hey. uh, the like, Warriors. Yeah. The Warriors. Hey, yeah. the, the hundred. I fuck with the hundreds. The hundreds. I only like know one of those. I just know. Stuff. It's like Lil Bomb. Oh yeah, shit! Yeah, yeah. Lil Bomb. Yeah, but you used, to, you used you, to have that shirt. Nah, I used rock. I used to rock Diamond. Did you? Yeah. Uh, yeah, but now you're rocking Malay. Better shirt. than Diamond. Yeah, I gave me better than Z. You, you guys remember in middle school, people would wear fucking Obey. Propaganda. Yeah, uh, Obey. That shit was cool. I like yeah. Obey. No, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, I can never afford that shit. Like, <laughs> I'm just, just being honest, bro. Just like, I couldn't afford that shit. Like, this will give me my first ever like name brand and shirt like my shit was always like um off the like sales rack or some crazy shit ross so and hey, they have some heat though oh nigga. hey right now foods are buying clothes from them too no no nah, nah, honestly it's not honestly about the price or a brand it's how you style it now you know what though growing up yeah. my mom never got me that shit either but it was it was like i know she could have got it for me yeah. but it was more or less like she's like motherfucker you're gonna grow out of it i'm not gonna buy you that shit like you're gonna fucking get Hanes and fucking Skechers, bro. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I remember, I remember we used to rock Hanes. Yeah. <laughs> hey, solid color shirts. Hell yeah. Okay. The Vans. That's your trademark. No. Yeah, that you my, always wear Vans, You know bro. what? I just recently got into fucking Jays. I bought two pairs of Jordan 1s and a pair of Dunks. He still wears the Vans. <laughs> you know what? Uh, you can't cliche. see you, no, you can't see it, but on the last podcast, I had uh, Dunks on. Pandas, but Dunks. Your girl got you those, huh? Nah. Ah, <laughs> nah. Does she have the same pair? No. Yes, you do, don't nope. I? She got Air Force Ones, but... Ah, ah she yeah. would. Okay. <laughs> Craig! You talking, huh? You talking shit? You better tell him, sorry. Right. He knows I love. But... Can't hate on each other. They both got beards. Thank you. He mostly got a beard. All right, but let me <laughs> ask you guys a question. Well, like, like and you guys could answer... Hit me. What do you guys see and want out of this podcast honestly success towards all of us 
Do you want to go in order? I mean, yeah, there? success is ideally what, what we all want, but I think what he's asking is, like, where does he want to see it go, right? And, I mean, we, we want to be entertaining. Yeah. And we want to be, we want to have that, that, that medium between, like, we're having guests on here <coughs> who fucking are doing it, right? And we want to, we want to find out, ask them about how they're doing it, because I'm pretty sure a lot of people want to know. It's like, how the fuck are these guys getting followers on, on YouTube, TikTok, all that shit? How are these guys, you know, making their businesses work? But also we want to be like entertaining, right? Like we want to have, we want to be fucking funny. We want to let loose. We want to let you guys know a little bit about us. That's why we brought Sergio. That's, that's, that's why we brought Sergio. Like yeah. That's why we brought Sergio. We got these two goofy motherfuckers. I mean, I think we're two. We're yeah, two of them. Not just one, two. Come on, don't be shy, baby. Right. Pop in, Sergio. Pop in. Man. All right. Switching right. out. Yeah. Come on. In. I'll sit out for a minute. All right. All right. That Sorry. surge. Go another one? Yeah. Thank you. But yeah, well, what do you see? Where do you see the podcast going? Honestly, like Me? how Craig was saying oh, before uh, <laughs> Snorlax jumped in on this. Yeah, man. I mean, I personally well, just know, see, like, success <laughs> in between all of us. Like, I already know he's going to blow up as a DJ just as long as he keeps his mindset on that shit. And he just keeps working towards his goals. I see myself blowing up, too, you know jump in my company from just me and my uncles and my pops to like me and my uncles my pops and like workers whoever wants to work pablo craig i mean hey, you get wings you get hey wings. no i'll take care of you too like that's the I'm thing sorry. you know like i, I can sell his project but I just can't like work. just like caesar says <laughs> like you take care of your team before you take care of yourself and, and you'll go a long way swear to god because yeah, i mean think about it you know, you end up taking care of yourself. Your team looks up at you and you're like, yeah, fuck this guy. I'm going to do my own thing then, too. Versus, you know, you take care of them. They're like, all right, you know, he's taking care of me. He knows I got shit to do. I got things to pay, child, family, Good. whatever. It's like I want to be in that same type of mindset, too. Not that I'm not, but I am. But it's just like we got to work towards the next step. But as far as the podcast goes, like, I see this very beneficial for all of us. Him as DJ, me doing my own thing construction my man pablo selling you with the clothing company craig over here managing yeah it's gonna go off food yeah. right and, yeah um, i swear I, to god yeah. his shit's gonna blow up clothing's gonna blow up people are gonna be wanting to buy this right as soon as it comes off the fucking press food oh yeah low key you're gonna have food's lining up outside your door watch dude yeah, bro. The next I swear to God. Uh, um, honestly, Once the, this PDC shit drops and they know that you made this and you were the design behind that food, it's over. Yeah. It's over. It. You heard it here first. PDC okay, shut dropping. the fuck up, Steiny. Everybody wants to talk. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Hey, man, bro. Ah, <laughs> I, love I love it. I love it. Oh, my God. I love it. I love it. I, love it. I, love it. <laughs> I just got a question. All bro. this motivation and shit, what do you have to say? What wow. the fuck is that, bro? What? Damn! I was sweating, bro. God Why are you sweating? Damn. You want me to do it as hot you as you want? What the fuck? <laughs> you want to do it as hot? Why do you think I got this towel right here, bro? Like, hey, my motivational hey, speaking hey, has him sweating, bro. <laughs> right, He's no. like, "Yeah, I'm gonna do all this shit right now. As soon as I leave this fucking chair, but like first a, I'm gonna go eat. <laughs> like a preacher on Sunday morning, dog. Just, woo. Oh, How do you sweat so much, bro? Every time I see you, yeah. like, I don't man. know, bro. Just uh, drink a lot of water, you know. Just don't think about it. But I'm. But back to your question, Caesar. As far as like the podcast, um, you know, we want to just bring on you know young entrepreneurs, you know, people that know how to do it, you know, kind of spread their truth. Why you change your voice every time you talk? What you mean? Uh, he puts on that gangster yeah, voice, it's an entrepreneur voice. What you got? How? How? Like when a little kid plays Xbox, he tries to make his voice deeper. Yeah, you. It's like you're you almost trash talk, trash talk. Nah, nah, nah. Shut up, bro. Y'all too. All right. I mean. I just be freaky. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Freaky? Did you say oh, freaky? Yeah. <laughs> uh, but ask my, uh, but I'm asking your question, okay? We want individuals that are, you know, making it in whatever field they're doing. You know, entrepreneurs, philanthropists, you know, influencers, whatever. We, we want to be the motherfuckers that make them reminisce. They're exactly. Like, Yo, you know, they're like, I was really people, here and now I'm here. From, yeah. You know what I'm saying? And then, you know, kind of have fun with them a little bit, you know, joke around, have some fun, you know, drink Make fun of Snorlax and shit. Yeah. yeah. Fucking four eyes over here. Uh, you know, uh, Dan- Danny do it all. Four eyes and more. Do. <laughs> yeah. Revenge of the nerds, bro, right here. Nah, when he's DJing at EDC, his motherfucker's gonna really be yeah. skinny. You're gonna look back, you're, you're gonna, gonna be like, damn, I was fucking. Huh? Yeah, I don't make it, bro. Yeah. 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 
you better get backstage passes, yeah, boy. Nah, not for you. I better be able to crowd surf this shit. You have an ADC? He's going to go on the mic and put on his gangster voice. You got, all right, let me ask. Have you guys ever been to a rave? EDC, nah, but I, I, like I've that. done the I've done the, so, yeah, the rituals that. you do before you rituals. go. Rituals? What the fuck is <laughs> you know shit? You know what I mean? Wait, what's a ritual? I don't know, bro. You'd be so We'll save soul, that for right? another podcast. You watch too many conjuring <laughs> videos, bro. Stay tuned for the next episode. Dan, do it all. Soul to soul? Maybe. We'll see. <laughs> soul to soul? <laughs> we'll see. Yeah, 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 we'll get into that. It's crazy though, cause hey, if we, if we <laughs> blow up, they're gonna be like, it was that motherfucker that made us blow up. <laughs> yeah, he do it all. I do oh. it all. Oh. Oh. Lay all for a call. <laughs> Lay the pipe. Lay. But you know, you know what's crazy though is that this guy right here, when he first started his brand, was what hitting guy? me up. This guy from Malays, bro. What what's his name? See Whopper. Well, we call him Whopper. It's an OG name, isn't it? You guys won't call us. Only the OGs know what's up. Yeah. But that's my so, primo. Him and I used to play soccer together. You know, I was a little bit skinnier. You know what I'm saying? A little bit. <laughs> a little bit. <laughs> He's like, I remember six Thor and two cokes. Nah, that fool was fit, bro. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I played football. I did soccer. What did happened? Baseball. Bro. You was signing, you, you know, made him a beer, beer pong. Nah, yeah, bro. PDC. Beer PDC. Beer pong, beer PDC. Come on now. Now he's a PDC. Yeah, bro. Fresh him. Stop it. It's what happens, bro. It's what happens. You so all start league. So good. He turned 21 and went fucking It was, oh, it was downhill. <laughs> hey, hey, you a D1 PDC. You got, got sauced. <laughs> you got sauced. You got lost. That's what happened. Like, hold on, uh, hold on, hold on. Hold on. But it's all good. It's all good. And it's crazy because this guy hit me up. He was like, yo, I got a product. I got a, bl- a brand. Called Malays, would you want to support? I'm like, dude, it's like fucking midnight. Like, what the fuck you hit me up at? You really texted him at midnight, dude? Yeah, bro. You were on one, huh? No, all the time. All the time. Bro, he was, he was like, at midnight, I was like, all right, fuck it, I'll buy a shirt. There ain't no, like, there ain't no hour to, like, hustling. Like, I don't. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's so fucking bro, true, dude. I drop something, I'm blowing up everybody's phone. I don't give a fuck who you are. You know what I mean? I blow up my mom. I'm gonna be like, buy a shirt. Like, I thought yeah. I was special. I'm not gonna yell at you from across the room. <laughs> Caesar, go to fucking bed. <laughs> hey, he felt special, but he never replies. Oh. oh. I just send the money. Oh, oh no, that ain't that. that, that. Oh, I ain't why I heard that. Money, yeah. money doesn't buy Caesar's happiness. You know what buys, what buys Caesar's happiness? Let a me fucking get one 12 pack. Let me get one of these. A torta. A torta. A torta brings him happiness. Nah, but. brings you happiness. <laughs> <laughs> but, a molita. Like, sh- hey, let's see fire. He's like one of those. Some. He's one of those customers from the get go that since that one day he bought that first shirt, he'll cop everything and not just for him. He'll cop it for his whole family. So, one of everything for you and for your real. family? Nah, bro, like, my whole family rocks How it. many of there are you? Well, there's about wow, six of us. Whole family right. decked out, bro. But And where's the group photo of you guys and him? He? Man, I don't know. That's actually a good question. Uh, he don't even invite us. I know, not even nah, a friend. Bro, you know, my guy. We don't even we got drunk. I don't get invited to the Asada. His dad had to invite me. Yeah. <laughs> so, hey, bring Whopper over. <laughs> but, um, man. But, like... I feel like I got a thousand followers on Instagram, and it's not a lot. It's nothing. But I mean, to it's, some it is. To no, 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 it ain't. no, no. But check it out. To start. No, those people buy from me all the time. Not the whole thousand, but you get what I'm saying. There's he's not the only one, you know. Like there's people that. Oh, your Doherty people. Whole you closet, say, yeah. whole closet full of Malays, cause. They got my back like that, you know? I know, dude. Speaking of whole closets, dude, my closet has been going away from, like, whatever I bought at the mall years ago to, like, just all your clothes, dude. The only thing that's no, in there no. that isn't yours is, you know, obviously the... Full sand, baby. Yeah. Like, work shit, But, you too. know, and, and my work clothes, too. Dude, you know, I gotta get down and dirty. If you drop colored shirts, I swear to God, I wear it to work. That's what PDC's yeah. about, Yeah, oh, bro. I swear to God, dude. It's drop a PDC's fucking about. Carhartt. That's like what PDC's Carhartt about. Shit. Did you see? PDC. But his material is like Carhartt, right. though. It's thick. No, like, it is. I've worn that shirt to work while I was doing some framing. I've worn this short shirt to work already while I was cutting some floor. PDC. Shit, that won't get me dirty. PDC is going to put the podcast on the map if we all put the work that we're supposed to. You know I am, You know I am, man. I'm selling these like, tickets off the hook. Look, we got the vision, 
and we understand what we need to do to get there, we just need to do it. Like, it's too much bullshitting when we first started. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie, yeah. You know? What do you mean by that? Like, like when we first started, started the podcast? We were starting the late. Yeah, bro, we, we, uh, we, the podcast. we would get fucked up. Yeah, Next thing you uh, know, the yeah. podcast, I'm like, la, 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 la. the podcast when we first started, where were we at? We were at Speedy Studio, no? That was the first God, ever shot podcast, you fucked up. This, we, this, Let me take you guys back. This guy, he hits me up. It's like 5.30. Primo, what are you doing? I'm, I'm at home. He's like, all right, stop whatever you're doing. If you're fucking a bitch, leave it alone. Come over here. Bring three cases of Happy Dads and a bottle. I was like, all right, bet. And I rolled up no, three cases. No, that. Bottle. I did not say that. Yeah, you did. I said, I said, pull up, bring some Happy Dads. Homie rolls up. It's three you enough. Said some happy dads. I, I just I assume. Some? And he bought a That's fucking three? bottle. He bought a bottle of the truly truly vodka. Yeah. Oh, oh that shit was gross. And we slammed it. Me and him. That was the first we time went I ever shot had happy shot. Dad, though. That was a hangover. And that then was, he rolls was... up. Oh, it was amazing. He rolls up and he's like, "What's up?" And we're like, "All right, we're gonna get you in here." We never got him in there. Never. We never got him in there. We were just never. so fucked up that nah, we never nah, got nah, him nah, in nah, there. Nah, nah, nah. <laughs> nah, don't fucking say he didn't. This fucking was like, all right, we'll get you in there. All right, I'm waiting out there with fucking Urbina out there. We'll I think we got Jay in there twice instead of him in there once. <laughs> he was so mad. <laughs> you were fucked up, bro. But look at you. You're a star. They know you as You're a star ass. now, fool. And the Molita guy. That was literally the first time I had a happy dad. They introduced me to it. I was like, okay, this is good. And this fool's like, man, drink the fucking truly right now, bro. This shit's gonna be bomb when you mix it. I'm like, what the fuck? Was it not? <laughs> okay, it was, it was, it was, it was hot, though? but yeah. It was, it was, it was, was it happy dot cold? If the truly oh, was they were cold, all cold, uh, bro. We had, we, the guy had the vodka. The vodka. The vodka was yeah. hot. Ew. Oh, no, but we still. Yeah. When I had it, when I had they had it, it was cold. When I came there, it was like a highland. Because you were holding the bottle for an hour. Yeah, look at the fuck. <laughs> well, well, what's your cup of tea on uh, alcohol? Yeah. Let's see what goes. That's not not beer, like that's alcohol. I know, but like you don't like you prefer beer over Seltzer liquor. Seltzer, nah, or... tequila. He likes the nineteen seventy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm a vodka guy. Nineteen seventy, bro. No, 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 no. The seventy. Don't do your seventy. Your clear one. He likes that one. I know he does. You don't like it. He doesn't like I the forty two. It's cool. Forty two. Like the big bottle. And he doesn't like the azul too. Forty two. You like azul? Forty two and azul are over. I say azul, bro. I don't bomb. like that shit. I know. That shit is bomb. Get I know you, primo. I know who you are, fool. <laughs> Ghetto people buy those bottles because they like to post it on the gram. Yeah, that ain't the move. Taste. I like to ring the bell. Ta- Taste. Huh? I like to ring the bell in the classic. Bro, I'll too. bring your little school bell. And you can just ring that. It's <laughs> not the same. It's <laughs> shot time, bro. It sounds the same, but it don't is. fucking ring a bell. You're gonna find a. Don't find uh, a bell. He's gonna find you a don't bell. find a bell. Let's see if he uh, finds a. Uh, <laughs> uh, it don't even work! No, my man. <laughs> it doesn't even work. Give me some WD-40. You fucked it up. Yeah, Fuck you, now you set on it. it. <laughs> <laughs> but, um... But getting back to it. Yeah, bro, you cannot fucking be drinking that shit, bro. Really? Really get, like, a real fucking bottle of tequila yeah. from Mexico compared to one of those. But that's different, though. Like, they're, they actually, like, harvest the tequila. You and know, I'm all hawking, bro. Fucking mezcal. Like, I don't fucking drink like a big boy. With worms or no worms? Everything. That's my guy right there. That's my guy. Have you seen the one with the little scorpions? Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I was about to say. The scorpions? I don't yeah. remember that night. But That's yeah. the best part. <laughs> that, huh? You don't remember that, you bro. Drink it? Well, nah, you got a bottle in there. You want to try it? You don't die. It's <laughs> get really fucked up. You just don't remember the night, but yeah. 40? Hey. hey. Well, that's the one we it's just got a little red dot, right? Yeah. All right, yeah, we're good. We're clean. We're, we're in. We're recording. Is this yeah. fuck? You're not drinking? This white guy, Jay, walking right here. Uh, yeah, bro, this is the... <laughs> but... <laughs> okay. Right. Oh, yeah. 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 Whoa, 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 whoa. That's why I switched to fucking wow, Arito. Oh, shit. Oh, oh, shit. Oh, shit. <laughs> you're like, got you already, three or beers and you're done. I just haven't had any water today. <laughs> really? I don't fucking <laughs> <laughs> like a popsicle Not that, stick hey, and he no, done. Don't start. You know I'm fucking with you. Don't start. Uh, More don't, like a popsicle stick don't and he start, done. <laughs> but nah. Um, Caesar gets too violent. This podcast, nah, bro. You get too violent. <laughs> <laughs> but this podcast is pretty important just to lay out yeah. something that I've been wanting to do for a little bit. Um, basically, I just wanted to run this podcast because shit's gonna get better. Shit's gonna get good. 
the quality from today to the quality that we're gonna have for Thursday's guests different. Next so Thursday? You're gonna notice a difference from today to Thursday. Yeah. And I just wanted to tell everybody that like the people the few people that watch the videos right now, it's gonna get good. The clothes is gonna get better. PDC is about to drop. Let's talk about that. Let's talk about PDC a little bit. I think they wanna hear it. Because we mentioned it a few times and everybody's like, and we've thrown out a few teasers out there. Yeah, they're like, what the yeah. fuck is that? And, they and heard, we dropped that sick ass video of someone doing the double barrel. Yeah, so they, I'm just they, saying. they heard about Did the photo. Just say it's sick ass. Hey, what? Double barrel? He said a, a sick, sick ass, ass video, video of someone doing a double barrel. This is I, I kind of want to keep it until we, we get it on lock. Yeah, you don't want to. Nah, not yet. But uh, I feel like teasers. But it's coming. Well, let, let, it's let's, coming. It's coming. coming. Let's give it out, like, after the raffle. Uh, all right, all right. Of uh, the raffle, this she will try to draw. We'll try to get it by tomorrow. Yeah. So, if you see this, get your fucking tickets tomorrow. The uh, raffle is Saturday. Um, right now, throw all the ads. Three winners, two hundred dollars in Malay's merch, and it's like random merch. It's like if you bought a surprise box, it's. Mm. Sweat, oh, cool. It's sweaters, hoodies, but it's all to their size. It's shorts. all to their size. Yeah, no shorts, right? Yeah, I still got some shorts. We're, we're, Are you shorts? I'm gonna I'm pack that box. Yeah, the winners are gonna leave happy. Like, mm-hmm. so get your fucking tickets. And get your tickets at Caesar Eleven underscore Twenty One. No, you get them through me too. At <laughs> Craig <laughs> underscore. Practically, if you know underscore. Oh, you know underscore Van Mirlo. Wait, are we going? Yeah. At Danny does it all. Danny dot does dot it dot is all. That, is that really your name? Yeah. Danny does it all. They weren't just calling you that. Hey, what the fuck? Did we go? Are we are we shooting right now? Yeah, yes, we're, we're fucking. Oh shit! Uh, you're at out there, fool. Right right there. Hey, you know what? I don't have one. Basically, I don't have one. If you, <laughs> it really is. Don't underscore have underscore on three, but it's don't have one. Basically, if you know any of us, hit us up. We still got tickets. One of the best fucking raffles we're gonna do, and we're gonna do a shit ton more PDC. When that shit rolls around, we're gonna do mad giveaways. We're gonna do all kinds of crazy shit. We're gonna start pushing the brand. Both the come up, mm-hmm. we might start PDC and Malays. We're gonna. Yeah, I'll tell you what. When's this dropping? Like for sure. Oh, is this Saturday, right? end of this month. So before before the raffle, this video. Oh, the, the this PDC. Video. Yeah, video. Yeah. When oh, is this video, video right dropping? This bro. video right tomorrow, now. Tomorrow. Tomorrow. Tomorrow? Okay, tomorrow. I'll tell you guys what. Surprise for everyone. The three winners, they all get a 12-pack of Happy Dad from me. Oh, from you? From Steiny. All right, bro. That's on yeah. you. So get tickets. your tickets. Swear to God, get your tickets. You hey, won't, hey, it's at you're Danny out. Does It All. Promised you that. At Danny Does It All. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 12-pack with that. every, with every, well, every winner. Pack, bro. I'm not promising shit, but... I got my boys back. <laughs> cool. I, I'll go in on that. All right. At Malays, Danny Does It All. Fuck you. We'll make it happen. That's how much we care. The banana flavor? Nah, uh, I saw it. Nice but yeah. no, uh, man. The variety <laughs> pack. Uh, <laughs> uh, no, no, yeah, okay. Variety <laughs> pack. Unless you want something else, we'll find it. Yeah. But if you want the pack of Happy Dads, you got to slam one. Yeah, with us. For PDC content. What? Yeah, no, no. Uh, the winners do. Yeah, yeah the, the winners, winners do. That's yeah. what we just said, bro. Oh, oh shit. Oh, Damn, yeah, bro, you lost the translation? Right. Unless you're under 21. We yeah, know. we can't do that, yeah. We'll give you like a twelve pack of Yohoo's. You uh, right? you Yo-hoo. 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 No. Hey, those shits will bomb though. I ain't gonna lie. Those shits are bomb. We you know you drink a lot, baby. Yeah, bro. You, you know, know what I get all my vitamin C. <laughs> <laughs> you got more than vitamin C. <laughs> got vitamin D in you. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck? But sick, man. Um, it's kind of time to wrap it up. Thank you guys for watching this fucking very special episode. For me personally, um, the brand means a lot to me. This podcast means a lot to me. These guys mean a lot to me. And um, all I can guarantee is this is going to get good. Um, We're going to get fucking good. Leave a like. Subscribe. Comment. Comment what you guys want to see. We probably won't do it, but... (laughs) (laughs) You probably won't do it. (laughs) But this is going to get fucking good. If you guys have any requests... uh, Danny Hill. Yeah, Steiny, he'll do it no matter what it is. So drop your worst shit. You know what? <laughs> like, comment, and subscribe. I already know our raffle's going on Which is Saturday. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. this Saturday, raffle's going on. 
Um, boy, Daddy does it work. all. Why are you looking at it? Winner, <laughs> win- it's like off. You, that's like me checking my bracelet and shit. Winner, like, fuck, hold up. winner will be announced on the Come Up podcast at the Come Up podcast. Live. Yeah. It won't be on the Malays page. So if, if you guys follow Malays and look at it on there, it's not gonna be on there. It's gonna be at Malays underscore the Come Up. That's where it's gonna be at. Oh, we're gonna do a live we're video. Gonna do a live, huh? And we're huh. gonna let Sergio fucking pick the winners. Snorlax <laughs> is picking the winners. <laughs> He has a thing about rigging fucking... Just because he never wins, but... Yeah. <laughs> Look at him over here sweating already and shit. <laughs> He's already nervous. Consolidating, bro. I'm going to ask my... You know what? We're going to get it. We're going to get it. We're going to make it. We're going to make, we're gonna make, it. We're gonna make this happen. happen. We're going to fucking make this Thank happen, Thank you for bro. tuning in Thank once you. again. For sure. This is co-founder and owner. CEO. Co. CEO. Huevos yeah. chicos. Verga larga. Danny's daddy. <laughs> <laughs> And then we got my homie Craig, your favorite male dancer right here in Chippendales right here. Craig. Whoa, what the? Whoa. Whoa. Why are you Whoa. checking them out? Yeah. <laughs> you got to support that shit the homies, was bro. You know my head, head. like I still fucking. <laughs> <laughs> you got me, <laughs> Danny does it all. Well, Give me a got call. Me you got don't have one. Sergio. I don't have one. Any DJ, any type of shit. Hit him up. This is us. I hope you follow our journey. Give us a call. And we out. Deuces. Do what I do, hottest on the block, you finna see when the cameras flash at me. Packed out shows around the globe. Groupies in my section, they loving the way I flow. Hundred million dollars, the deals are rolling in. But I ain't got no witches, I'm giving up on the